Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today I was, I'm working on my, on my uh, custom orders and um, um, on the envelopes that I created for, let me show you, let me show you, you know these large envelopes that I created, I have some that are for custom orders and I'm trying to do some for the shop. But, um, on the back, I had, uh, um, you know, some images here, and then I have some lace going down, and I had a flower. Well, those flowers that I had, they were crocheted. I ran out. <laughs> I have no more. So, I thought I'd make my own, and I started, um, you know, breaking my head uh, back in the days when I first started crafting. I got a um, YouTube channel from, uh, I know her name is Janine, but she had a number, and I can't remember the number to say exactly who she is. I would have to look her up, and if I find her, I'll add her to the link. But that's where I got this idea of these little shabby uh, little flowers. And so I was making some for the envelopes, so I needed to make a small one for this little one. So I made that one, and... Uh, I had a piece of doily that I wanted to add here, and I keep looking everywhere, and I don't know where I I moved everything to remove my my Tim Holtz uh you know uh, work surface thingy, and somehow that thing grew legs because I don't know what I did to it. I had a little doily that I wanted to add here, and I don't I don't see it. But anyways, this is not to decorate this. <laughs> I'm trying to finish this journal. So this flower will be going here. But I wanted to show real quick, um, just do a quick tutorial in case you guys are interested and you guys see it in the video. You guys might might um, want to know how to make them. So I thought I'd do a quick video. So the first thing I think you'll need, I think, no, it's a circle punch. Now this one is a larger one. Um, I can't find my larger um, circle punch. I had to actually, I can't find any of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I purchased another uh, one inch and uh, this one I cut it by hand. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to show. It's just your base. But see, that one's perfect because yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a larger one because I need larger ones. I just needed a small one for this journal here. But I just wanted to put it out there so you guys could see that you know you can make uh any size and i'm thinking i wonder maybe if i can use a small circle and i'm using this cardstock i don't know the the weight it was gifted to me oh man okay we'll deal with that later and i'm just gonna cut me a circle i'm gonna try to do a big one and a small one see how that goes and I haven't pre-cut anything so you guys could see how how to do this so we first need our circle we got our circle now what we need is to choose um, some lace that um, that kind of go together you know so I got this piece and um, oh wait I forgot to get the other one hold on guys it is Okay, I'm not sure. See, now I lost that white lace I had. I only see this one, and I don't want to use this one. Oh, Lord. What about this one? They're kind of matchy-matchy. But see, like this kind of lace here that's already, you know, cut to size, that's perfect. So actually, I'm going to use that one. But I wanted to put a the white lace that I had, and I don't see it, so... Maybe this will work. Yeah, this will work. Okay. Put that on the floor. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut our little squares. And we need a total of four. And so I'm going to just cut here. Now, they're what? A little over two inches. And I'm just going to cut one and then put it on top of the other. Just to get the same size. They don't have to be perfect. 
but they do have to be, you know, around the same size. And you can cut these little squares out of any fabric, but if you have a lace like this, it's already, you know, what's the width? About two and a half inches. So see, this one was perfect. So I have my four pieces. Set those over there. Throw that over there. So now I need, put that over there. So now I need four more. Now this is... I got this at a thrift store. What exactly it was, I'm assuming it was from a tablecloth. Anyways. So I'm going to cut. <clears throat> Show me a frame. Now these squares are the ones that are going to go on the top. So the ones on the bottom, you want them a little bit bigger. So I'm going to. You can add your little. I'm going to say about there. I should have got my other scissors, my fabric scissors. Okay, so I'm going to say about there. Now this one is not, it's kind of thin, but we'll make it work. I just throw that in my little snippets, pieces over there. So then there. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. We're actually going to trim them down. So I need one more. I think one more, right? Yeah, we got two there, so we got two here. Now I don't want this little um, border there that it has at the end, so I'm going to cut that off. But I am going to save it because that will work awesome with a snippet. So we'll pop that over there. Okay, so now, I think this one's a little bigger. That's okay, we'll trim it. Okay, so now we got four and four. So now we're gonna grab our little circle. and um, You can use whatever glue you want. I prefer uh, the hot glue because it dries quick. Yeah, we may burn ourselves a little bit, but that's okay not that bad <laughs> it's not that bad uh just be careful anyway so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little square and you're just gonna fold it and then once you have that there you're gonna put a little bit of glue just fold it again to the corners so a corner to corner thingy and then I'm just gonna add a little more glue just to make sure because <clears throat> I don't think I got enough glue and then you're going to put some glue just in the tip, a little corner, and you're going to try to set it down. Make sure, see I put too much glue. Ah, no. Hold on, guys. There. Got that out of the way. Okay, so we got that there. So now we're going to grab another square, and we're going to do the same thing. going to fold it. I guess across and then uh oh did it again okay I'm gonna put it over here because I don't want to mess up my mat again fold it I'm just gonna add a little more just to make sure it stays shut then I'm gonna go across from the one I just put down and then there I keep doing that. That's why you need a bigger circle. <laughs> I'm trying to use a little circle so you guys don't see me cut a circle by hand. But I'm assuming it should be okay. And then again, fold it, glue, and boom. And then just press. I'm just, I'm just adding a little more glue make sure it doesn't come apart I'm going to try to just do it in the corner or the tip and then boom Look, there's no way of me doing it without not this is why I like my other workforce I mean my my work surface from Tim Holtz I don't want to mess this one up 
and I don't have anything that I can pop right there. I just don't want you guys struggling with the glare. So here we go. I'm getting all this stuff for, for the, um, I'm just going to pop that there so I don't mess up my little work surface thingy, my mat, mat, there you go. Sorry guys. Then again, just a little bit there. And then again, just a tip. And there we have it. So that's our first layer. Okay, and um, now we're going to grab our smaller ones. And we're going to do the same thing. So if you have lace, these are so cute and easy. So now... I should have said before I put the glue. We are going to go the up. Um, you know how these two came together. So that's where we're going to put our our new ones. We're going to cover the little cut there. I don't know if that makes sense, guys. But see, they're all four. So now we're going to just put them on top to cover those lines. That divides each little... Um, what do you call those? <laughs> what do you call those? Petals? Yes, petals. Again, just, uh, and then I'm going to go across from it. And if you need to add more glue, you could add more glue. I, I, after I'm done, I go and check them and put glue wherever I'm, I missed And, and then right there and then our last one right there and then just at the corner So well, there's your flower. <laughs> so now I'm going to go around and just make sure my glue, you know, it's together. Just check them. If I feel that I need a little bit of glue, I'm just going to go and pop a little bit of glue. Just to make sure they stay together. But not too far at the end because we don't want... You know, we want it to ruffle up a little bit. So, okay, I think I'm good with that. So then after this, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our scissors. Let me grab my fabric scissors better. We're going to grab our scissors, and we're just going to cut around, kind of like a circle motion, um, because we definitely want to take these little pointy parts out. So just, you know, give it, we're giving it a, we're giving it a trim. Just make it look circle-ish. If you like it squarish, you can leave it like that. Now the ones on top, you can do the same thing. It's just, you're just forming it to, you know, a flower. The second time my sons tried to come in here, I guess he forgot I told him I was doing a video. <laughs> I just hear the door. Okay, so there. See? Um, wait. Cut that off. So now, let me move my mess. I hope everybody's doing well. I don't think I said anything. Sorry, guys. I get all into the groove and forget. Okay, so there's our little base. Just fluff it up a little bit. So the center, I know she added more uh, more stuff to it. I can't remember. I'm just doing whatever I remember. <laughs> but I think she cut a circle of lace. The ones that I did, I just added cheesecloth. 
but I'm going to pop that little circle in there because I think that's how the original one went. went. And then I'm going to grab some cheesecloth. Just all these little pieces that I cut out are perfect for that. So we just need a small piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my glue and I'm just going to dab it. And then pop it in there. Then you uh, you um, grab the button of your choice. Oh man, where's my button? There it is. So I'm going to choose this one. Um, I don't have my, um, what do you call those? I'm using my scissors to cut that. I have my little, um, my little tool for that. <laughs> Let's put my scissors over here because I definitely don't want to mess those up. And then you just add your glue. And make sure you just put enough glue that it doesn't come out. And then just press it and hold it for a little bit. Make sure that glue sinks in there. And there you have it, guys. There's a cute little flower. How easy was that? You could just sit there in front of the TV and just make a bunch of them. That one looks a little more rufflish. But yeah, they're so cute and easy to make. Actually, this one's bigger. I'm going to have to trim it a little more, maybe. I don't know. It depends on how it looks on the envelope. And then this small one. And you can add any type of uh, button or cent little centerpiece there, whichever one you want. But yeah, these are very easy and cute to make. Where am I? So I thought I'd jump in and, and share it with you guys so you guys could see these little shabby flowers. Like I said, this is a custom order. I'm, I'm uh, working on it, but I needed a flower. And so this little one, same process, just smaller pieces. And then like I said, you just trim it with your scissors, kind of go around it. And yeah, it looks cute. As soon as I find my doily, you know, I want to add a little more. But anyways, I just wanted to share that real quick, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys in my next uh, video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.